This is one of the darkest chapters in American history. The violent insurrection on our nation's Capitol building last week represented an attack on the democratic process and the peaceful transition of power, the likes of which we've never seen in our collective history together. And this was not a spontaneous event. It was not organic. This had been planned and coordinated for weeks and it had been incited by and encouraged by it directly by the President of the United States, who directed the crowd to march on the Capitol building, put Vice President Mike Pence at risk of death, and then refused to provide aid to the outnumbered Capitol Police, one of whom lost his life on that day. Impeachment is the only response to this unbelievable and unforgivable act. If this is not an impeachable offense, what is? Trump must be barred from running for federal office ever again, and he must face the consequences of what he did that day. I worked in the Capitol as an intern, and then as a US Senate staffer returned and worked out of Capitol Hill offices numerous times. Seeing the Citadel of Democracy attack that day and everything we represented and stood for and seeing it overrun by violent insurrectionists, some of whom adhere to neo-Nazi and white nationalist sympathies, was excruciating and painful. We must never allow this to happen again, and we must hold all who assisted accountable, including Trump's allies in the Senate and his allies in far-right media, those realtors of resentment and purveyors of paranoia, but most of all, we must hold Trump accountable and that starts now.